Are you drowning in picks? We got a better way for you to sort your digital memories with the Pharaoh's trips and picks on this episode of Gadget. We'd like to thank our production sponsors, the University Catholic Center, the California Province of the Society of Jesus, and Gateway. Go to gateway.com to see what they can do for you. Welcome back to Gadget at the Techstop.net. It's a place where it's always time to get your geek on. I'm your host, Father Robert Balloser of the Society of Jesus. I'm a member of the California province of the Jesuits. We're the largest religious order in the Catholic Church. And we're here in the Center for Apostolic Technology at the University Catholic Center, located on the campus of the University of Hawaii. Now, I have to start off by apologizing for letting an episode or two slide get a little bit late. You see, one of my best friends, Father Long Ngo from the mainland, has come in, and uh, we've spent the last couple of days just touring the island, taking advantage of all those beautiful spots that, honestly, I, I just really have ignored since I got here. And it's been a great, great time. We've gone to the beaches, we've gone to the temples, we've gone to the places of interest, the monuments. But it hasn't all been fun. You see, we were actually testing out a product that we received from uh, our friends over at Pharos, who sent us their trips and picks. Now, the, the idea is simple. The trips and picks is part of that uber geek niche, 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 that uh, we call geotagging. And if you're like me, you have thousands upon thousands, maybe tens of thousands of digital photos. And uh, I've done my best to try to organize them. I, I've got them organized by, by year or by month or by content. But even that, when you start getting into the megabytes and gigabytes, and in my case, terabytes worth of data, flipping through those albums just isn't nearly as much fun. Well, with geotagging, you actually attach GPS information, so where it was taken, at what time, at what date, to each individual photo, which gives you a wonderful way to organize your photos. As you can see behind me, we're actually running through Google Earth, and it's showing all the points that this little GPS receiver has logged, and it actually will show you where we have attached photos, where we took photos, so it gives you this nice visual representation of your trip. Now, those who have known about Pharos for a while know that it is a quality maker of GPS products. Uh, but then the question becomes, is this something that's just for uber geeks who know their GPS? Or is it something that the layman can use to organize their pictures? Well, we've had a chance to play with this, and uh, this is what we found. The Pharos Trips and Picks is a self-contained geotagging package complete with GPS receiver, battery, and interface software. It is designed to geotag pictures with both Google Earth and Microsoft Streets and Trips, giving you flexibility in your choice of geotagging software. The Trips and Picks unit is small, small enough to fit in a shirt pocket or hang around your neck, and it weighs about two-tenths of a pound. The unit itself is actually comprised of two components, the GPS receiver and the dock, which provides power for mobile use. When separated from the dock, it can be connected to your computer via a USB dongle that connects to the data port on the receiver. The GPS receiver inherits its performance from the Ferris line of high-quality GPS gear. It uses an integrated patch antenna with 20-channel tracking and can go from a cold start to fully functional in 35 seconds, or from standby to tracking in one second. It can also reacquire lost GPS satellites in as little as 0.1 seconds. Accuracy is good to 5 meters, and it can track velocity down to a tenth of a meter per second. Battery life for the GPS receiver is quite good. Ferros claims that the rechargeable 1100 milliamp battery will run the unit for 24 hours on a single charge, and that's pretty much what we got in our tests. We are also able to charge the unit from almost dead to completely full in about an hour. The GPS receiver isn't itself limited to use only with trips and picks. It is a standard GPS device that can message in GGA, GSA, GSV, and RMC, meaning that you can use it with just about any computer, any software package, and any hardware configuration that can speak the industry standard GPS language and use a USB device. The express mode of the trips and picks software allows you to read coordinates from the GPS device or from a pre-recorded log file. You can then process only the markers on your trip, or you can choose to have the software geotag your photos and add them to your choice of mapping software. You can also choose logging frequency, style, and memory options. So 
switching to the classic Faro software gives you more control over your GPS device and should give old GPS hackers a more familiar interface with which to tweak. Using the trips and picks for geotagging is simple. Charge the base, dock the GPS receiver, and turn it on. There is a blue LED to indicate when the unit is logging data, and the underside of the dock has silicone feet to keep it from sliding off your dashboard should you decide to use it in your car. Once the trips and picks is logging data, simply snap away. I should note that it's important to set the proper date and time on your digital camera. You can use the Pharos trips and picks software to adjust the timestamp on your pictures if you have misconfigured your camera, but it's much easier if you're just using the proper information from the start. The memory in the GPS receiver can store between 1.5 to 45 days of data, depending on how often you set the receiver to log its position. Once you've returned to your computer, you simply download your photos from your camera, plug in the undocked GPS receiver, and run the trips and picks software. We chose to integrate the data with Google Earth, and it worked remarkably well. We took the unit with us for five days of travel around Oahu, and it properly mapped our every route and stop. Each logging point gave us data like position, direction, and velocity. More importantly, the trips and picks software automatically placed our photos on the map, giving us a zoomable, clickable pictorial representation of our travels. Since it uses the timestamp of the photos and compares them against the timestamp of the GPS receiver log entries, each picture is placed on the map exactly where it was taken. The end result was that we had a fantastically detailed map of our path around the island, and a neatly organized trip photo album. If we wanted to, we could share this album with the world or just with our friends. This changes the paradigm of the family photo album. The Pharaoh's Trips and Picks is available online for about $90. Now I've wanted to play with a geotagging package since CES, and uh, I'm really glad that Pharaoh sent us theirs because it's obvious that this is a very well-designed package. I mean, everything from the very high-quality GPS receiver, the fact that, you know, it's, it's such a small device, and yet within this tiny little plastic enclosed case, we've got the receiver, we've got the memory for storing the log data, and uh, the dock is actually quite well designed too. The fact that it's got the, the, the battery contained within here, and uh, Ferros has got the ability to release different docks for different functions. For example, if they wanted to add Bluetooth functionality for those who want to use this with their laptops on the go. They've also made sure that they keep the old GPS geeks happy by by doing that dongle thing so that you can use the GPS receiver as a standard GPS receiver and integrate it with whatever software package or whatever application you might want to use it with. So, I mean, this is just an all-around great deal. I mean, for $90, for less than $100, to, to, to be able to, to either do the GPS Uber Geek thing or just to do the make my pictures be organized thing, it's a, it's a really, really good buy. Now, I do have to mention a few things about this. First of all, the reception is fantastic. There was actually one point, I believe it was this leg of the trip, in which I forgot to uh, take this out of my bag. I had been leaving it in my, in my bag pocket, and then when we got back in the car, I'd been taking it out and putting it on the dashboard or dropping it into my shirt pocket. Well, I left it in the bag, and we put the bag in the trunk, and so there was that steel lid, and it still managed to get its GPS data. That's actually something I'm not used to. Most GPS devices, especially of this size, have not been very good about picking up the, uh, the satellites if it doesn't have access to clear sky. That being said, there is one thing that I, I, I think they need to fix, and that is the switch. Uh, it, this is a nice compact unit, and the switch is it's a really nice you know one, one switch, one button way to turn the unit on and off. But the problem is that it's not recessed. So what often happens is that when you drop it into your pocket, you can switch the unit on or off, and either you'll drain the battery prematurely or you'll turn it off when you want to log. And, and that's actually happened to us a couple of times. We, we were actually missing a few legs of our trip because the GPS receiver was accidentally switched off. But that's a simple fix. All they have to do is maybe push this a little further into the case on the next revision or uh, change the layout of the switch, and uh, they'll be golden. If you're looking for a way to get into geotagging, a way that's not that expensive, that's really easy to use, and a piece of gear that could also be used for every other standard GPS application, might I suggest you check out the Pharos Trips and Picks? You can find out more by going to their website at www.pharosgps.com. If you want to find out more about the products that we've reviewed, you can always go to www.thetechstop.net 
and if you click on the gadget tab, you'll be able to find links to all of our high resolution versions. If you want to send us an email message, you can write us at gadget at thetechstop.net. Well, that's all the time we have for this episode of Gadget. I've been your host, Father Robert Balasser, and remember, there's no Uber geek without you. Thank you.